John Mildred Hall for the National Points Championship Stage Round 2, the race for the Silver Reef. This week we are going to have Phoebe Wayman as our driver spotlight, but first it's time to do the important draw for the driver's grid positions. And we've got Leo who's our shootout junior and he's going to draw the cars out of the back. Tom's late. You pull them out and if you give them to me, yeah. we'll pop them on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, sound yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh, you can. Right, are you ready? So where you put Jeremy, do you know where he's doing it? Yeah. 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 Right, are you ready? Are you excited? Yeah. I like the enthusiasm. Right, kind of Leo, uh, first one out. Ready? Five, 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 Frankie Wem Junior. Right. So you put it down there. There we go. Well, it's like that. <laughs> <laughs> 217 Lee Fairhurst. He's very he's the back three. I think it's good. 16 Matt Newson. Okay, he goes next to Lee. Yeah. Yeah. 20 Liam Gilbank. I'm sure you were near the front last time and all. Last week. But yeah. <laughs> 259 Paul Hines. All the top ones are coming out. Thank you. 212 Danny Wyman. Drop it, drop it, drop it, have your sleeve in a minute. 515 Frankie Wyman Jr. Okay. <laughs> 84 Tom Harris. So, Tom. Okay. Yeah. Right at the back. Yeah, you're at the back, Tom. <laughs> 211 Phoebe Wayman. Lovely. Uh, so. 191 Joshua Smith. Superb job, Leo, so far. Superb job. Number five, Charlie Shoulder. Lovely. Empty bag. Beautiful. You have an empty bag. Hi everybody, so we're getting ready for shootout round two this Saturday at Mildenhall and just wanted to give you a quick update on the car. So um, we've done a few bits to it. Uh, last time I raced was at Northampton, so it's all set up for shale anyway. Um, we swapped the brake disc on this end because it was slightly bent. Um, and then this um, side, the hub was leaking the whole of Northampton's so we've taken it all apart and the bearing had collapsed and um, so basically I had no back brakes the whole of Northampton which was a lot of fun but we fixed that now um, we've done all of the gauges um, rewired all of that because that was playing up and yeah we've done a little bit of bumper work obviously I'm such a hard hitter now so we've had to fix the front bumper haven't we <laughs> so yeah we're getting there doesn't look like a right lot of anything now, and we're racing tomorrow, so wish us luck. Oh, now he's doing that, now he's been dead noisy. Sorry. Now your dad's been dead noisy. He doesn't even need to do that, does he? He doesn't even know what he's doing. Dad! <laughs> really cross because like, he's like, why is he not talking to me? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> right, okay, good. Yeah, you're, you're, you can look straight on and I'm like, I'll do side profile, so you can, Thanks. Yeah, I'll take it, I'll take one for the team. Take for the yeah, team. I'll take it. <laughs> so with Phoebe, uh, before she goes out for heat one, Phoebe, you are in the shootout for the first time ever, and I think when I was talking to Simon last week, it's, it's pretty kudos to get into the shootout. So are you in the shootout for the first time, and B, the first female ever to be in the shootout? It's, it is wild, it's, it's something that I never even thought would happen. Yes. Um, when I came into F1s, I genuinely said to Dad, I'll be happy to plod along as you know a, a, a decent yellow top. If I ever get to blue, I would be over the moon. Yeah. And that was literally kind of what I said.
set out to do. So to now have a red wing with flashing lights on it is just something, you know, I could retire and I'd be happy with that. So. <laughs> You've all very smart about it, which is good. Um, and you get a hoodie as well, because these are like, people like the hoodies. It's a thing. It's I a know, thing, isn't it? I know, it is. And I'm just sad that we don't get to keep them. I know. Well, apparently you have to give them back and know, raffle them off. I know. What's that all about? I know. But, I, yeah. I saw a picture of your brother wearing his out and about the other day as well. Yeah. I know. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not taking mine no, off. No, never. working it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in the shootout. Um, we last spoke at, at Cowden Beath, and you're having like a really kind of starting to have a good run, and then you've had like mid-season. It's been been brilliant, you know, um, up to red, made the shootout. What what has happened? I I genuinely think it's, it's just seat time and, and getting a bit of a break of good luck because yeah. I seem to, you know, in a lot of like earlier on in the season, I'd be going really well, and you know, Dad'd be like, "You're so quick." Just it's just bad, you know. You run into yeah. bad luck, and like people spin out in front of you, or you get a flat tire, or you know you get caught up and like Carl always said that if it was a crash you'd be guaranteed I'd be in the middle of it yeah. um, so I think honestly it's a bit of you know I've got a lot of seat time now so yeah. I'm you know starting to like get get a little bit better and a bit more experienced and um, we're spending a little bit more time trying to set the car up um, I'm not crashing as much now so we're not spending all week yeah. fixing the car we can you know get it yeah. ready and actually set, spend time setting it up rather yeah. than just fixing all the damage um, so I think it's a combination of, of, of a bit of stuff but yeah it's uh, really improved lately so when we, when the shootout's quite an intense series, you know, you're like racing week in, week out. When we spoke at Cowden Beath, you were like, right, we've got the tarmac car, you know, we've set up the tarmac, it's brilliant, but then we have to change it for shale and it takes us a while. So how are you going to deal with that? Just the same as we always do. Um, obviously, the last time I raced was at Northampton, so it was already set up for shale anyway. Yeah. Um, so we didn't have to do a lot to it this week. We just had to fix a few bits um, that had been broken on it. I've, been, I've just come back from my honeymoon as well. Uh, yeah, so I actually yeah. didn't have a lot of time to fix it. So it was a good job I last yeah. race on shale as well um, so we only had like two days to get it ready for today um, but yeah I think just week in week out we're just gonna have to change the setup and as annoying as it is there's not a right lot I can do about it so do you have a book is it all like, or is it in Carl's head it's all in Carl and dad's head they're very um, good at remembering stuff good. like that I probably should have a book though it's a bit more, <laughs> more practical <laughs> you mentioned honeymoon because you, you did miss round one because obviously more importantly you've got married you went on honeymoon yeah. so you, you did miss round one but you, you're kind of not at the bottom of the table though because yeah. Yeah. The way the points start, because of your um, sort of successes so far, you know, you kind of start kind of mid-table anyway. Yeah, so um, obviously I missed round one. I, we booked the holiday bef way before. Yeah. I even thought I was going to get in the shootout. Um, were you cross when you were, were you like, I was a we bit, need to really think yeah. about this honeymoon and I was thing. like, hey, it's all paid for. I can't <laughs> really change it. And obviously because of COVID and stuff, it's all a lot more different yes. now to cancel yeah. it and rebook. So I was like, we're just going to have to miss the first round. But I'm still ninth from the points. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's not too bad. But yeah, I was a little bit gutted. I missed that first round really and aspiration what do you want from the shootout um honestly if i could i, I truly just want to go out and, ha and enjoy yeah. racing and i want to go out and if i can score some points stay you know in the in, like competitively in, in the points points wise and and just have some good racing and just enjoy it i'll be i'll be happy with that because i'm just happy enough to be in it yeah. so but there's, but there's a real view this year you know, certainly after king's Inn, where there's no real favorite everybody's mm. like you know kind of in there anybody you know i know the shootout does kind of get to the end and you still got four or five drivers yeah, but yeah. I think this year absolutely everybody's still bunched together nobody's yeah definitely I think all 12 drivers are very very talented yeah. um, so I think it will be a very very close call and like you said I don't think there's many that are kind of out, that, that are shining brighter yeah, if you know what yeah. I mean than, than others at the minute I think everyone's on a really fair kind of uh, playing ground really so it would be really um, interesting to see what the racing's like I think it'd be very neck to neck but so Mildon Hall you need to go out if you hit one in a minute do you like Mildon Hall as a I love Mildon Hall I absolutely love it. Even if, like, Dad always says, even if I like crash and I, yeah. or I spin out, I'll still come back. I'll be beaming because yeah. I just—it's so fun yeah. and like it's just so full on. Like, it's so different to any other track that we race at because you're constantly going. Like, you don't get a break down the straights, and after a race, my arms will be throbbing. Whereas at other tracks, they're not. Like, yeah. you know, I, I'm not that bothered. Uh, yeah. But you're just constantly on it, and I love it. But um, yeah, I, it's just so much fun. So yeah. I'm very excited. So confident today. going into tonight. Confident, yeah. I just, like I said, I think yeah. if. if if I enjoy the racing and I finish races and get decent places, yeah. I'm more than happy Good. with that. So. Good. You need to go out for heat one and yes. we'll come and talk to you in like, what, it will be 20 minutes. Yeah, after I've Then worked. hopefully you're still smiling. I, and I like, will be. Yeah. I'll be here with my trophy. Yeah, we like that. Positive <laughs> thought process, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> you go and get ready. Thank you. <laughs> Good. He, I said to, he's, he was going. I'm going to do with that a tripod. I'm going to be like, I really took a side profile it. then as well. I was like full on side. You were like looking. I at was the, like, yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.
uh, going to be next season. We start the uh, qualifying for that event. Uh, <laughs> Exciting. Danny! I'm not over three times earlier. Uh, I'm not saying that's more interesting than talking to you. But it is. <laughs> they come over our house all the time. Do they? Yeah, Why? they're really cool. Is, is there like a base near? Yeah, there's an American air base near us. Yeah. They come right over. Well, I'll be sat down working. Me and Jess have this thing because, like, where where I live, I live here, and like, Jess lives like, oh, you know. Yes, yeah, yeah. And then um, if we hear it coming, you can hear it from ages away. You can hear it in the background. <laughs> so I run out in my garden, I go, Jess! And she goes, baby! And we like look at it together. <laughs> Do you think they're waving at you? No. no. Let's talk stock cars because that's far, that's far more duller. <laughs> um, he won, you got 10. Yes. Um, so, how was it? All right. Um, it was a bit. A bit rough. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Um, to be honest, I'm happy that I finished my first race and got a place yeah. my first time from Superstar. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm actually quite pleased, to be honest. Um, the car felt a little bit off. I can't quite put my finger on it because like, it, it felt good, but the, like, it felt good to drive. It's just the pace wasn't there. Yes. So we're going to try like different tires and see if that improves it for the consolation. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy yeah. that finished. Good. You said it was rough, and I, I agree. Like, there's only what, 16 cars out, but there seems to be a lot of damage that the back streets seem to be attracting people. What, what What's going on with that? Is it just sucking I, I don't know. I, I think it rained earlier, yeah. and I think the track's still a bit kind of uh, wet from that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was. Was it, the, down the back straight it really was pulling you yeah, in towards yeah. the fence and a few times I kind of clipped it but yes. held it yes. um, so yeah it was a bit carnage yes. but um, a lot of fun that's what makes fun yeah. races you know but like you say you know first time from from Superstar which you are now and you, you finish your dad won that's good yes. is he happy he didn't look very happy no. it's a bit like just kind oh, of oh he's used to it in a yeah, like, oh what a race <laughs> <laughs> big four <laughs> so consolation and uh, then we need to go consolation and final hopefully so like, what is it so, like just you, do you kind of get Carl over and go Carl sort this or do you get it sorted yeah so, uh, no I, I, I mean I, I kind of talk to Carl and he kind of asks me how it was could it you know do with a bit more back brake could it do with a bit more drive blah 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 yeah. um, and we kind of try come up with a bit of a plan between yeah. us to make it go a bit quicker yeah. in the next race um, it was tricky at Northampton because the, the car was a proper handful the whole yeah. of Northampton so rather than focus Focusing on the setup and trying to get it quick, we were more focusing on trying to get it fixed yes. so that I could actually get it round. Yeah. Um, 
So I think we're still kind of just trying to get the setup right. Mildon All, in any event, is a completely different track yeah. to any other shale track that we have. So the setup is kind of different anyway. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll try some yeah. for the consolation. So I, 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 I spent a bit more time watching you in, in that race. Obviously, we're talking to you, and you're behind Charlie for a while, and it's like you're probably quicker than Charlie, but because. So Charlie's on my sideways on kind of past the start, so you can't actually oh, make front it's to back contact. So, yeah. It's really hard to, to pass people. So hard to pass people here. I, th I think I came up the inside of him at one point and he had a lot more drive coming out. So I was like, oh, I've got him here. And then he just left me and yeah. I was like, no. And then I tucked him behind him and I just stayed behind him. And it's just so hard to pass people here. And I'm, I'm not an aggressive driver. Yes. Um, you know, like dad's like, just hit him out the way. And I'm like, yeah, but like, I'm worried I'm going to mess their race up, my race up. I'm just not an aggressive driver. I'd rather like go the inside of people yeah. and, yeah. you know, so, um, but that it's brings with it like its, its own like dangers because like it's easy really to get hooked up, isn't it? And then you're off on the middle, or you know. especially here yeah. because you're so sideways. Like you're sideways before you're going into the yes. bend, so you you kind of. I don't know, unless like you can get up people on, down the straight, yeah. that's kind of when you're in the clear. Yeah. But like, you know, Charlie was sideways, you know, before going into the bend, as you have to be around here. Yeah. So how I can hit him to pass him is it's tricky. So yeah, but I'm happy. Anyway. Yeah. Do you know going to the consolation then, uh, before I leave you to it, is that like more of a cautious, even more of a cautious approach? Do you just need to finish in those? Yeah, I think um, I always enjoy, I, I don't know really, because I always think, well, you're going to get another race anyway, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. I think now that I'm in the shootout, I am more kind of like, right, I need to pick up some points, I need to get yeah. some points. And like, I was a bit like that when I was trying to get to red. I was yeah. kind of like, you know, putting a little bit of pressure on myself. I was like, right, I need to get this many points this meeting, this many points this meeting. And that's when I started like not enjoying racing because yeah, I was just I like, oh, I didn't score as much points as I needed this meeting. So I try not to yeah. put that pressure on yeah. myself because that's when I start driving badly. Yes. Um, I actually drive better if I just don't put the pressure yeah. on myself and I just go out and enjoy myself. I drive a lot better then. So I'm literally just going to go out and enjoy it. And if I finish and get placed and Good. get in the final, I'll be really happy. So, yeah. yeah. And, and just the last thing about the shootout is that, you know, like throughout what we've seen over the years, people that pick up the points just consistently are always kind of there or thereabouts at the end. Yeah. Not just to me. And you, you know, there's people you kind of get to like the sort of last couple of years and go, I didn't see that person. Yeah. And you just kind of look back and go, but they were always getting yeah, places, yeah. places, places. Not necessarily the wins, but the, the yeah. places. Yeah. Well, hopefully that'll be me. And you get wins though, maybe as well. Well, yeah. 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 Few wins in there, yeah. it'd be, be nice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> right, go and talk to Carl and do <laughs> Thank kind of magic. You. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
But Phoebe, you just had the consolation and we can see that things don't look good. A DNF, what's kind of happened? So, I was going really well to be fair. Yes, yeah. It felt so quick and I was keeping up with all, all the superstars. And then um, my brakes went, I had no brakes at all and I was like, oh, this is fun. So I was kind of going into the bend and trying to get it more sideways, like to try and compensate for having no brakes and get back on the throttle and you just try and kind of compensate. Yeah. But, yeah, I, but basically I had no brake pedal, I was going into the bend and I was like, what, what's bloody happened, yeah. you know, no brakes. And then um, I started feeling, it was kind of like bottoming out and I was like, oh, so I don't feel right here. Yeah. So I pulled off and snapped the back axle clean enough, so. So how is that, how is that, cause is that just happened through wear and tear or is it just? I think so, I, I can't really, a lot of the time I honestly don't remember. I might've got a hit in that that I don't remember yeah. getting. Cause so, so, so much happens during a race that you'll come off and then like, if you watch a video back, you're like, oh yeah, I forgot that even yeah. happened. Yeah. So I might have like caught somebody or someone might've kind of caught me going into the bend. I don't know, but yeah, yeah I don't know how it's happened. But so what does that mean then? So like, obviously Carl's whacking it. Carl's taking out his anger issues yeah. on my half shaft yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> but That's what that means. He's not actually mending it, he's just really cross. <laughs> <It's> just cross. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll try and get it welded up for the national, obviously it won't be in the final now, which yeah. is a bit disheartening, but um, at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is and these things happen, stock car racing yeah. at the end of the day, so we'll try and get it back out for the national. Um, yeah. If he stops whacking it, I don't think, I mean, I, I don't know. Is it accomplishing anything? <laughs> no. Probably not. <laughs> um. Well, you see? Oh, okay. Well, that's what it accomplished. Yeah, that's what it accomplished. And, and last thing, you said you're driving without brakes. Isn't that a bit scary? I mean, or is it not? Is it? I mean, um, it's worse on tarmac. If yeah. you're if you've got no brakes on tarmac, yeah. you just pull off. Like, yeah. there's no hope. On shale, you can kind of compensate a little bit. You can kind of compensate a little bit for it. So, like at Northampton, for example, when I had no brakes again, it seems to be a common yeah. issue with me. Um, I was kind of like throwing in. You kind of go in a little bit harder, throw it in with the steering, yeah. and then get back on the throttle so that you're sideways that yeah. way, and then you can kind of overcompensate yes. for having no brakes on shale. So on shale, it's not too bad. It's it's more in traffic. So like at Northampton, um, I think a Dutch driver went in, and he went in really sideways, and I was just like, there's nothing I yeah. can really do. And I, can't stop. I hit yeah. him. I, cl yeah. I climbed all over him, and you know, he's got he's got a big it's getting now. worse. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to leave you supervise what's going on. Um, I hope you get it fixed, and we'll come Thank and talk you. to you. After the national. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
PB. So you went out in the Grand National and not a great end to the night. No. Not really, no. Um, <laughs> so obviously in the, we picked up quite a bit of damage in the Constellation. Yes. Um, I snapped my back axle clean and half, half shaft snap, half shaft snap. So there was a lot going on that we were fixing, trying to get it out for the National. Um, and I didn't, we didn't even think to check gears and okay. basically went out on one track. First gear, absolutely fine. Started the rolling lap in first, as I normally do. Went to go get into second, and there was yeah, just could not get a gear. Um, so I had to pull off. I yeah. tried for ages yeah. to get in gear, nothing was happening. Come back, and um, the gear linkage is basically bent, so that uh, it's like catching on the um, gearbox when I'm trying to get in gear, basically. Um, so in all of the rush, trying to get the back yeah. axle and everything sorted, we didn't even think to check that. Um, so it's frustrating, but you know what it is, what it is. And I say I think it happens for a reason. Yeah, it does. But I mean, it has been like a very swift meeting, as it in terms of turnaround. So you haven't got to do such a big no. amount of work. So you, you can't check everything. And yeah. when you sat in the middle, are you like, I'm really cross? Or you're like, do you yeah. know what? I won't lie, I gave my little steering wheel a punch and yeah. now my hands hurt a little bit. <laughs> you match <laughs> Carl because he, he hurt his hand yeah. mending your cross and maybe that was. Yeah. I was like, oh, I need to take my anger out somehow. <laughs> that was a mistake. Um, but no, I think it's frustrating because, you know, I, I didn't do a single lap. I, yeah. pulled, I pulled off before we even started, which is annoying. Um, in the consolation, I did maybe three laps before um, my back axle snapped. I finished the heat, but I feel like I've just not done many laps. Yeah. And that's what's frustrating, really, more than anything. But I think when you know, it's quite interesting, isn't it? We, we spoke at the beginning of the meeting and we're like, we're all dead excited, it's like brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And then it's like that, that journey that you go through, and yeah. stock cars isn't always amazing. Sometimes it is a bit rubbish, yeah. and it's how you then, I guess, do the next meeting and put yourself and go, right, let's go again. Yeah. It's quite hard, though, isn't it, to do that? It is, yeah. And I'm, I'm still excited for tomorrow, and hopefully we can get it all fixed and, and set up yeah. and sort it for tomorrow. But. You know, typically it's not shoot out round, no. so I'll do well tomorrow probably and uh, won't pick up any points. But you know, like I said, it's stock car racing and you've got to take the good with the bad. And yeah. you know, I've had a decent run, so I'm due a few bad meetings, yeah. so got to, got to take it like that. And in terms of shootout, we go to Buxton next weekend, so on tarmac. Are you kind of happy with that? Instead, or would you rather it be like the, the run of shale? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think um, shale's a lot more forgiving. So even if like you're not necessarily on pace, as long as you kind of stay out of damage and keep yeah. your nose clean and finish, you can pick up a good place. Yeah. So I think shale is a lot more forgiving, but whereas tarmac, you know, if you're off pace, you're, yeah. you're screwed really. So um, hopefully I'm going to spend a bit of time on it this week with setup and stuff, um, obviously fix all the damage and hopefully spend a bit of time on the scales, you know, getting it set up and, and, and hopefully it'll be all right at Buxton. So. Just make sure Carl's got it in his head, because we said it's in his, in his dialogue, isn't it? Is that, yeah, remember what you need to do for tarmac. <laughs> Thank you so much Thanks. for your time tonight. It's been brilliant. To, I'd actually like to, to see that journey that you've been on. Not and the best of meetings, no, but you know. But, but no, but that's the thing where you, you can't, you know. But then, like you say, yeah. you know, you, you come again and have a brilliant meeting. It's yes. just one of them, isn't it? So, it is. but thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Good. <laughs>